kids. <laughs> I've missed them. For Grape Creek, in terms of schooling, last year wasn't much different from previous years. We were able to maintain our normal schedule last year and we didn't have to shut down for contact. But teachers still had to make changes to their lesson plans, getting ready for the start of this new school year. They're excited to be back into the classroom for a more normal learning environment. First of all, right now, I'm not having to prepare the online stuff. <laughs> so that's great that we don't have to, to do that yet. Teachers are now able to focus on their lessons and getting their classrooms ready. Uh, this year I get to actually kind of calm down and get everything put where it needs to be and, and I just feel a little bit more prepared than I was last year. Other changes this year for Grape Creek Schools includes new staff in the buildings focused on helping students recover from COVID's mental impacts. We're adding a lot of tutors and um, programs that will help accelerate the if the learning loss through our remote learning times or um, just through the pandemic and then we're also which is great is adding um, LPCs uh, contracting with LPCs and counselors so that we can help with the mental health aspect for our students as well. Another way to get their students ready, Grape Creek Independent School District purchased school supplies for all of their students. When we were uh, saw that we were able to do this and that we received the enough money to buy the supplies for everybody, we thought, though we were so excited because this is a way to not only help our students, but it helps our families, our community, and our parents. For News Connection, I'm Kayla Brown.